things, but actually thinks about strategy and ideas, which is a very something that's sort of left behind sometimes in the world of technology. And my other colleagues are from Bell Partners Group. Alex Wolfel is head of crisis. So he comes from the world of uh, genetically modified crops and other kinds of uh, disasters like that. And uh, James Thomason is director of digital um, at Bell Partners Group. So we have a digital view across uh, all of the uh, agencies. What we're going to do is, is uh, try to bring this to life a little bit, and Anil and I are going to do a little bit of very, very amateur role play uh, around a crisis. And in this role play, Anil's going to be the marketing director, not the communications director. I uh, and we're, Anil's going to be the marketing director, and um, I'll be the communications director. And the, we're going to, uh, uh, we're going to have to forgive us because we're going to exaggerate the personalities of these two functions. So, you know, that's right. My, my early apology to everyone in marketing, who I'm representing on stage, I don't mean to be either so crass or so crude, but we're really doing it to illustrate uh, a very real points. So, um, marketing people, uh, you know, we're going to push the idea of the emotional connection that they have with, with the market and communication. We're going to push the, the, uh, the shall we say, the desire to, to deal with facts. And, uh, and the desire to direct around these facts. So we're going to go into role play, and then we're going to tee, tee this up, and then there'll be three little sessions, and then our colleagues, who actually know what they're talking about, will come back and you'll see how, what they make of our performance. Okay, and here, we're in a jam, version 4.0, our product. We have a glitch. We've got very important users complaining, the media is complaining. I think this is a crisis. I mean, this is, uh, we've never had a, a, a product issue like this. Uh, this is getting out of control. We have, we've got to do something. Well, I, I beg to differ. I think our last Net Promoters call showed that people love the brand, right? We, 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 the issues that we had in the past, they don't exist anymore. Our sales are up. The campaigns we've been running are terrific. We've had great response. Uh, I think this is just a bit of noise. I think this noise will pass. And you know, you're living in the emotional world of brands. This is, uh, you know, a crisis by my definition is, is anything that's unmanageable. This is unmanageable. Uh, my team are watching what's happening and, and, and we think that everything else that's going on with our marketing has been fully under control. In fact, you know, uh, we were actually going to be posting some great content I've been creating uh, with some of our customers. And I think I'm just going to accelerate that and get it up on YouTube faster. Okay, so so you're actually doing something about this. Yeah, but that that shows how wonderful the product. Is. Okay. Well, then I should do some. Uh, I should. Well, that Wikipedia page will still references the last product we recall. I think I, we should be fixing that, don't you? And our Facebook. Yeah. When's the last time we looked at the Facebook page? I think we got to get this stuff up. I think here. I have a team, but I, I'm not sure. What I'm about Twitter? Are you must be. I have two guys that, yeah. that that look at that stuff, but but I haven't looked at any reports. I've asked for a brief with my team in the agency. Okay, well, I mean, uh, we need to be, we need to be, I think I should put my guys with your guys, we need to be all over this. Steve is on the phone, our CEO, he wants a briefing. So we've got videos being posted, we're fixing up the wiki pages and Facebook, we're monitoring Twitter. Yeah, I've, I've also identified in the team that we know 10 bloggers that uh, are quite influential in this industry. We, we might talk to them. Oh, the related. So you're going to reach out to them. Well, I think I think I'm getting a, a report back. About okay, we should go. Negative guys, you're going to do something. Yeah. So you're you're proactively going after them now. I think so. I okay. think that might be a, a, a wise one. All right. So we got a report. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, no golden globes here for the afternoon. But um, uh, well done, guys. Uh, okay. Point number one. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about comparisons with James. Um, normally that conversation would be a bit more animated, you probably have a few more swear words in it, particularly if it's marketing and communications people in the same room together in a crisis. Um, I'll first point to you with the, when a crisis breaks and these discussions are taking place, the very first place anybody goes is difficult, no big surprise there, to find out who you are, the last thing that's written about you, any information we can possibly find. So the starting point, we would argue, is not when you're in a crisis thinking about doing all these various online activities, it's managing your reputation before you even have a crisis. 
So I don't know how many of you know what would come up on the first page of Google if you put your client's name in. I don't know whether there would be a negative news story there, I don't know whether there would be uh, a wiki entry, I don't know what their LinkedIn profile might say. But managing reputation before you even get to this stage is the most important point because this is where everybody goes in a crisis. Which is why clients will sometimes say, how come the first question we got was about an employment tribunal that happened three years ago? And that's what they think our company's all about. Well, the answer is it's a Daily Mail search result which is right underneath your company name. So they connect the two. So getting your reputation sorted online ahead of anything is absolutely vital. And James is going to talk you through that now. Some of the uh, initial things that Google um, throw back at you and what we normally say to uh, our clients to, to get in order, if you like, um, is obviously the company website. Um, if any media are looking for a statement or looking for information um, about a particular product, they're going to go to the website as the first port of call. But you'll be amazed how many clients um, we see um, who haven't got their, their press rooms in order, they haven't updated it with latest press releases, or they've got press releases which are in PDF, so search engine providers can't get to any of the content, and therefore people looking for it on Google can't find it. And also, um, to make sure you know, you've got multimedia content on your uh, newsroom as well, it isn't just text, it isn't just boring, they've got images that can be downloaded in high resolution, um, so they can be used in the media, and bloggers can use them as well. And probably most importantly in a crisis is to make sure you've got your media contacts on there and a 24-hour um, number or email address that people 